isn't drawn to a tiny fluffy dog. Although they may be adorable, there is more to the story of teacup Pomeranians, including some controversy. In this video, I share what exactly is a teacup Pomeranian, where they come from, how small they are, and the controversy regarding if breeding teacup Pomeranians is unethical. What is a teacup Pomeranian and are they real? Teacup Pomeranians are real, but many people are led to believe that a teacup Pomeranian is a separate breed of dog in comparison to the standard Pomeranian. There is only one Pomeranian breed. The name teacup is only a term that is being used for very small Pomeranians that fall under the breed standard for height and weight. Be extremely leery of anyone claiming that they are breeding teacup Pomeranians and use language that indicates that a teacup Pomeranian is its own breed. This is a red flag for possibly unethical backyard breeding and an uneducated breeder just trying to make money. So where did the name teacup Pomeranian come from? For some reason, it has become extremely popular to photograph tiny dogs laying inside teacups. It seems like a silly thing to do, but it has caught on to the point that many mini or micro versions of dog breeds are being coined a teacup. Are all Pomeranians teacup Pomeranians? All Pomeranians are Pomeranians. There are many terms that are used to describe Pomeranians with certain physical features that can make them seem different from one another. Not all Pomeranians will fit the description of a teacup Pomeranian. Some of the other terms used to describe Pomeranians are throwback Pomeranians, fox face Pomeranians, baby doll Pomeranians, and teddy bear Pomeranians. I will link some articles down below that I wrote about each of these differences. So how small are teacup Pomeranians? The breed standard for Pomeranians designated by the AKC is that a Pomeranian should weigh between 3 to 7 pounds and be 6 to 7 inches tall. A teacup Pomeranian would be smaller than the breed standard. Teacup Pomeranians weigh less than 3 pounds and are shorter than 7 inches tall. So how did Pomeranians get so small? It may be hard to believe that Pomeranians have not always been the little lap dogs that they are today. Pomeranians used to be much larger in size, ranging from 20 to 30 pounds. They were hardworking dogs that were bred for sledding, herding, hunting, and protection. One can assume they were also wonderful companions. During the late 1800s, Queen Victoria was visiting Florence, Italy, when she fell in love with her first Pomeranian. Pomeranians became a big part of the Queen's life, even having over 35 Pomeranians at one point. Queen Victoria was exceptionally fond of smaller sized Pomeranians that could fit on her lap. She developed a breeding program that focused on smaller Pomeranians. Her Pomeranian also won many awards and lots of recognition, making the smaller Pomeranian more desirable. What's the difference between a toy Pomeranian and a teacup Pomeranian? Pomeranians are often referred to as toy dogs since they are categorized into the toy group by the AKC for showing purposes. Just like there isn't a specific teacup Pomeranian breed, there is not a separate toy Pomeranian. They are all Pomeranians. What is the difference between miniature Pomeranians and a teacup Pomeranian? Miniature Pomeranians and teacup Pomeranians are the same things. They are just both terms that are used to describe small Pomeranians. How do breeders breed teacup Pomeranians? The ultimate goal of a breeder that breeds teacup Pomeranians is to end up with puppies that will be as small as possible once they are fully grown. The majority of the time, the runts of the litter will be selected as breeding pairs. This practice is unnatural and leads to many dogs that are only small due to health issues from being bred, which should never happen. The farther down into the breeding program you get, the smaller the dogs may end up. Is breeding teacup Pomeranians dangerous? Breeding teacup Pomeranians is dangerous for dogs and the breed as an entirety. Pomeranians have a hard enough time carrying a litter of puppies through birth successfully without the added risks of being extremely small or not healthy enough for the process. Promoting super small sized Pomeranians is doing a disservice for the breed. Pomeranians are already small dogs that do not need to be any smaller if the risks outweigh the rewards. How healthy are teacup Pomeranians? 
Pomeranians. Teacup Pomeranians generally have many additional health issues when compared to a standard Pomeranian that was bred within a healthy breeding program. Standard small size Pomeranians, around 3 to 4 pounds, are small enough and can be very healthy. You need to make sure that the breeder you are getting your small size Pomeranian from is reputable in breeding healthy dogs. What is the lifespan of a teacup Pomeranian? Due to the higher chance of health issues, teacup Pomeranians tend to live shorter lives than the breed standards average of 12 to 14 years of age. So the big question is, are teacup Pomeranians unethical? In my opinion, breeding teacup Pomeranians can be unethical. If the breeding practices being used include breeding only the runts of litters, breeding unhealthy dogs, and similar practices, I feel like it's crossing the line into being unethical and not humane. There are cases where there may be a small puppy that fits into the teacup Pomeranian profile that was bred ethically. So are teacup Pomeranians controversial? Teacup Pomeranians are controversial due to the unethical and inhumane practices that are used by backyard breeders and puppy mills in order to produce money-making extremely small dogs based on society's desire for cute and tiny dogs. Are there other teacup dog breeds? Unfortunately, there are other dog breeds that have hopped on the teacup bandwagon. I am personally not familiar with these other breeds, so I'm not sure if the same breeding practices are commonly used, but we often see teeny tiny chihuahuas, Maltese, Yorkshire Terriers, Shih Tzus, Pugs, Poodles, and Bichon Frees. So I understand why people find the small size teacup Pomeranian adorable. I too have a smaller Pomeranian that is sweet, sassy, and cuddly. It's okay to want a small dog and the main thing is to do your due diligence when searching for a puppy. Make sure that the breeder has healthy dogs with good backgrounds. Do a reference check if you're concerned. Try to speak with previous owners or the breeder's vet if possible. Look for a breeder that is connected to a Pomeranian club with a history of breeding Pomeranians. Also, go with your gut. If the situation does not feel right, it often isn't. I only warn you because it would be heartbreaking to fall in love with a little dog that ends up having many health issues and a shortened life. If you like this video, you may enjoy my video on the 13 weird things that Pomeranians like. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hug your palm today.